All right, uh, ODE, practice exam four, problem number nine. All right, so if any of the following functions are analytic, uh, I think at the origin, at uh, x equals zero, uh, carefully explain why and state the interval where the associated power series converges. All right, so here, uh, exponential function, uh, we know that uh, the power series, um, or Maclaurin series, is going to be a summation uh, n goes from 0 to infinity, uh, x to the n over n factorial, right? And uh, this guy actually converges for all real numbers, right? So we have that. So this is analytic at, at x equals 0, and uh, interval convergence is uh, all real numbers, all right? So this is a little tricky one because uh, you have uh, x on the bottom, so x is ze x equals zero could be a problem. But uh, if you write the um, um, power series for sine is a summation, uh, n goes from zero to infinity, uh, negative one to the n, x to the two n plus one over uh, two n plus one factorial, all right? Then we want to divide this guy by uh, x, all right? Then you get that actually this is going to be a summation, uh, n goes from 0 to infinity, uh, negative 1 to the n, and x to the, so you can cancel uh, one of the x's, right, here, then it's, uh, it's no problem. So you have uh, x to the 2n power over, you have uh, 2n plus 1 factorial, all right? And uh, this, um, the power C for sine converges for all real number as well. So you have, um, all right, negative infinity, positive infinity, all right? So if you, uh, part C, uh, 1 over one, uh, 1 minus x, this is just a, a power series, uh, a being equal to 1, and r value equal to x. So um, this is a, just a geometric series, so it's a summation, uh, n goes from uh, 0 to infinity, then you have uh, x to the n. All right. And uh, this guy converges, uh, actually radius of convergence would be, remember that the R value, in order for the um, geometric series to converge, uh, absolute value of R value, which is the absolute value of X, has to be less than one, right? So which means that uh, it's an interval from negative one, oops, negative one to a positive one. Right, so interval convergence is negative one to positive one. All right, and this is a, a really um, um, a tweaked version of the pretty much the same thing. So if you rewrite it as uh, say, um, I'm going to put the x outside, right? Then I have one, and I'm going to write it as one minus negative x squared, right? Then we can use the same technique. So x, this is going to be a summation. Uh, n goes from 0 to infinity. Only difference is, uh, instead of x, we're going to put uh, negative x squared. So we have a negative x squared to the n. All right? So you're going to get, so it's going to be a summation. n goes from 0 to infinity. All right? There's a negative 1 here, so you have a negative 1 to the n. Then you have a x to the 2n power, but you have extra x, uh, so you're going to be plus 1. All right, then since um, our value here is um, negative x squared, and this is going to be less than 1, all right, which, which uh, still give you the same interval. You can get rid of the negative, so um, x has to be between negative 1 and the positive 1. All right, then hyperbolic cosine is, uh, let's see, defined as uh, e to the x plus 
e to the negative x over 2, right? So we, we have uh, um, policies for e to dx, which is summation, n goes from 0 to infinity, uh, x to the n over uh, n factorial, plus you have a summation, n goes from 0 to infinity, right? Instead of x, we're going to put the negative x to the n over n factorial, n over 2. All right, then here you have to notice that the when n is even, then you're going to have x to the n, and you're going to actually have the same thing. If you have an even power, negative really doesn't matter. You're going to have the two of the same thing. But the n is odd. This is going to be a positive x. This is going to give you negative x to the n, so they cancel out. So what happens is um, whenever... Uh, n is odd, they cancel out. So you're, gonna, you're not going to have an odd power. But do you only have a even powers, right? So you have a x to the 2n power. Then you're going to have a 2n factorial. But you have two of those, so you multiply by 2, but uh, you are dividing by 2. So you can cancel at uh, 2 and 2. Uh, you're going to end up getting summation n goes from 0 to infinity, then you have a x to the 2n over 2n factorial. And since um, uh, the policies for e to the x and the e to the negative x converges for all real numbers, and uh, for this one, it's exactly the same. All right? Uh, so uh, all these guys are analytic at the uh, x equals 0. And these are, uh, maybe I'll just box these. Uh, these are the, um, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, these are the uh, interval of convergence. All right, there and there and there. Oh, actually, I messed it up here. I didn't, um, I didn't mean to write this. This is the all real numbers I meant. Uh, let's see. Let me let me get that All right. So this is um, all real numbers, which is a negative infinity to positive infinity. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.